Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. What do you say? He said, and now for Pirate TV. It's April 9th, 2010, and it's time for Today in History. On this day in 1865, Robert E. Lee surrendered his 28,000 troops to Ulysses S. Grant after Lee was forced to abandon the Confederate capital, Richmond. In 2005, Prince Charles married his longtime mistress, Camilla Parker Bowles. There were an estimated 750 guests. In 1883, Billy the Kid was sentenced to hang after a one-day trial for murdering a sheriff in New Mexico. In 1959, NASA introduced the first astronauts. The seven men, all military test pilots, were carefully selected from a group of 32 candidates to take part in Project Mercury. For more information on the past, dust off your history book and ask your teacher. Good morning, Pirates. Today is Friday, April 9th, 2010. Tomorrow, the Environmental Club will meet here at the high school at 10 a.m. for the Don't Mess with Texas Trash Route. Anyone can join us for the last set off the highway this year. The theater department will present their 2010 UIL one-act play, The Boys Next Door, tomorrow night at 7 p.m. Tickets are $5. More auditions for their May play will be held today. Also, if you are interested in being in theater production class next year, sign up outside Miss Hill's room. Auditions will be Monday the 12th and Tuesday the 13th. Prom DVDs are now on sale for $10. If you're interested, see Mr. Strutt. Or look for media tech students to be selling them during lunches while supplies last. Attention juniors, free ACT vouchers are available in the counselor's office. We only have 40 vouchers, so the first 40 students who ask will receive the vouchers. RFFA participated in the Kaufman County Junior Live Salt Show. Hunter Munnerlin had Champion Hog, Megan Gurley took Reserve Champion Hog, Mitchell McPherson took Champion Goat, Crandall won four or six goat classes. Mariah McPherson's British Deer took champion, and Wade Harold's British Heifer took reserve champion. Congratulations on the day. The boys' golf team is sitting in second place, four strokes behind Kennedale, after round one of the district golf tournament. Round two is scheduled for Monday the 12th at Creekview. The Pirates are well within striking distance as they try to capture the district championship on their home course. Also, congrats to Ag Mechanics for placing second in their events for the trailer. Hot to Molly. Environmental club members need to come by Ms. Shook's room to sign a thank you card. Also, if you're interested in helping out with a bicycle rodeo, see Ms. Shook to sign up. Varsity boys track team placed second with overall in Kent, while junior varsity placed fourth overall. Gold medal winners are Brandon Mobley, Austin Qualpell, Andrew Newton, Devin Burris, and James Kirby. I'm Candace. And I'm Paige. Have, Have a fantastic, fantastic Friday. Attention seniors, in case you didn't notice, the class fees have gone up. They're $35. The money pays for your senior day activities and your actual diplomas. Seniors, you need to pay them to Miss Beaver. Everyone else, figure it out for yourself. Going to college? Scholarship opportunities are in the counselor's office. Black and gold scholarship applications as well as Trinity Valley Electric Co-op applications are due on April 16th. And PTA scholarship applications are due back April 20th. Seniors, bring a copy of your college acceptance letter to the counselor's office so we can proudly display your name and college on the board in the counselor's hall. Seniors, it's time to round up your photos for the senior slideshow, which will be shown during the senior day assembly and just before graduation. So gather up your snapshots and turn them into Miss Stamper or in the front office, or you can email them to Mr. Struck at jstruck at crandallic.net by Friday, April 30th. So on Thursday, April 29th, while the 9th, 10th, and 11th graders are taking a tax test, all seniors do not have to come to school. If you have a college class, though, you need to check with your professor to see if uh, you have to come or not. Because we are not in control of that. If you haven't ordered the cap and gown, please make sure that you get that done ASAP. Your senior accomplishment form needs to be filled out and turned in by Friday, April 23rd. Come out and support our Crandall Varsity Baseball and Softball teams tonight as they face arch enemy, the Kaufman Lions. Dun, dun, dun. Anyway, the game starts at 7 o'clock here at home. A win for the baseball team means a trip to the playoffs. So come on out and show them you love them. 